In space, no one can hear you scream, or can they? The vast, cold expanse of space holds some of the universe's most terrifying mysteries. From rogue planets to supermassive black holes, let's dive into some chilling space facts that will leave you happy to be safe on Earth. The cosmos operates on a whole other level, where the laws of physics can bend and break. Over the next few minutes we're going to journey together to the edge of our understanding, confronting the unsettling truths of the cosmos. Buckle up, it's going to be a wild ride. Our first stop takes us to a place where silence reigns supreme, a silence so profound it would be deafening. Hollywood would have you believe that space is a cacophony of roaring engines and exploding stars, but in reality, it's the opposite. Space is eerily, unsettlingly silent. You see, sound waves need a medium to travel like the air we breathe. But space, my friends, is a vacuum. Out there, no sound can travel. Imagine that for a moment. No matter how much you screamed, no one, not even yourself, would hear a single sound. Our next stop takes us on a journey to the realm of rogue planets, celestial nomads that roam the cosmos untethered to any star. These planets are the orphans of the universe, cast out from their solar systems by gravitational interactions or violent stellar events. Imagine a planet perhaps even larger than Jupiter, hurtling through the vast emptiness of space at unimaginable speeds. These cosmic wanderers are shrouded in darkness, their surfaces hidden from our view. They drift through interstellar space, unseen and undetected, until, well, that's the terrifying part, isn't it? We can't detect these rogue planets easily. What if one of these rogue planets on its lonely journey were to encounter our solar system? The consequences could be catastrophic. Our cosmic journey now takes us to a grand stage where galaxies themselves collide in spectacular displays of cosmic violence. It's a phenomenon known as galactic cannibalism, and it's as awe-inspiring as it is terrifying. Imagine two vast islands of stars, each containing billions upon billions of suns, drawn together by the irresistible force of gravity. As they approach each other, their gravitational fields begin to distort, stretching the galaxies into fantastic shapes. Stars are ripped from their orbits, flung into intergalactic space or sent hurtling towards the center of the merging galaxies. Gas and dust are compressed, igniting bursts of star formation that light up the cosmos with their brilliance. But this cosmic dance isn't just a beautiful spectacle, it's a battle for survival. The larger galaxy, driven by its insatiable appetite, begins to consume its smaller companion. And our own Milky Way galaxy is not immune to this cosmic hunger. Our exploration of the cosmos now takes a rather morbid turn, my friends. We're venturing into the realm of space debris, where the remains of past missions and unfortunate souls who ventured too far from Earth now drift aimlessly. Space is a harsh mistress, it's unforgiving and it doesn't readily relinquish its hold on what it claims. When missions go awry, when lives are lost in the pursuit of knowledge, their remains aren't always returned to Earth. Instead, they become part of the ever-growing cloud of space debris. Without oxygen, the process of decomposition is halted. These bodies, these silent guardians of the void are frozen in time, drifting through the cosmos as a stark reminder of the risks of space travel. Our journey through the cosmos now takes us from the familiar darkness of black holes to their theoretical counterparts, the enigmatic white holes. While black holes are cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything that crosses their event horizon, White holes are thought to be their polar opposites, spewing out matter and energy into the universe. Imagine a region of space-time where nothing can enter, only escape. That's the essence of a white hole. Now I must caution you my friends, that white holes remain purely theoretical. We have no direct evidence of their existence, but their existence is tantalizingly suggested by some of the most mind-bending equations in physics. Our cosmic voyage now takes us to the very edge of time itself, to the potential end of everything we know. We've explored the vastness of space, the power of black holes, the unsettling silence of the void. But what about the fate of the universe itself? One theory proposes a rather unsettling end, a cosmic curtain call known as the Big Crunch. Just as the universe began with a rapid expansion, the Big Bang, some scientists believe it might end with an equally dramatic contraction, a Big Crunch. Imagine the expansion of the universe slowly grinding to a halt. Gravity, the architect of the cosmos, begins to exert its dominance. 
the universe, once so vast and ever-expanding, begins to shrink. Our journey through the cosmos now takes us closer to home, to the star that gives us life, the sun. It's a life-giving star, yes, but it's also a ticking time bomb, capable of unleashing unimaginable fury in the form of solar superstorms. The sun isn't just a giant ball of fire, it's a churning, seething ball of plasma, threaded through with powerful magnetic fields. These magnetic fields can twist and tangle, and when they snap, they release enormous bursts of energy in the form of solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Most of the time, these solar storms are relatively harmless, resulting in beautiful auroras here on Earth. But every now and then, the sun throws a tantrum of epic proportions, a superstorm that could have devastating consequences for our technologically dependent civilization. Imagine, a massive solar flare erupting from the sun's surface, aimed directly at Earth. Our cosmic adventure now takes us to the very edge of the observable universe, to the distant realms of quasars, some of the most energetic and enigmatic objects ever discovered. These cosmic powerhouses shine with the brilliance of a trillion suns, outshining entire galaxies with their incredible luminosity. Imagine a beam of energy so intense, so powerful, that it could stretch across billions of light years, a beacon visible from the farthest reaches of the cosmos. That's the power of a quasar. But what could possibly generate such mind-boggling amounts of energy? Astronomers believe that quasars are powered by supermassive black holes, billions of times more massive than our own sun, lurking at the hearts of distant galaxies. As gas and dust spiral into these black holes, they heat up to unimaginable temperatures, releasing torrents of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. It's a cosmic light show of epic proportions, a testament to the awesome power of gravity and the insatiable appetite of black holes. Our cosmic journey now takes a rather unsettling turn, my friends. We've explored the power of black holes, those cosmic vacuum cleaners that devour everything in their path. But what's even more terrifying is the thought of rogue black holes, those invisible wanderers of the cosmos lurking unseen in the darkness. You see, most black holes are content to reside at the centers of galaxies, feasting on a steady diet of stars and gas. But some black holes, through gravitational interactions or violent galactic mergers, can be flung from their host galaxies, cast out into the vast emptiness of intergalactic space. Imagine, a black hole, millions or even billions of times more massive than our sun, hurtling through the cosmos at unimaginable speeds. It's a cosmic phantom, invisible to our telescopes, detectable only by its gravitational influence on its surroundings. Our cosmic voyage now brings us back to where it all began, to our own little corner of the Milky Way galaxy, our solar system. It's our home, our cosmic cradle. But like all things, it too must face its inevitable end. The sun, that life-giving star that has nurtured us for billions of years, won't last forever. Like all stars, it has a lifespan, and as it ages, it will undergo dramatic transformations that will ultimately spell doom for our planet. In about 5 billion years, the sun will have exhausted the hydrogen fuel in its core, with its energy source dwindling, the sun will begin to expand, transforming into a red giant, a star so large that its outer layers will engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, and yes, even Earth. The sky turning a fiery red as the sun balloons in size, its heat scorching the Earth's surface, boiling away the oceans, and turning our once lush planet into a barren wasteland. So, the next time you gaze up at the stars, remember, space might be beautiful, but it's also full of danger beyond our wildest imagination. Stay safe, Earthlings. We've journeyed to the edge of black holes, witnessed the collisions of galaxies and confronted the ultimate fate of our universe. It's a humbling experience realizing just how vast and powerful the cosmos truly is. Like, subscribe and share.